been a while, but let's get, keep it simple today. And we're going to figure out how to get a spore print and how to make a spore syringe out of that. So let's get started. So step one, you're gonna have your boiling water. Let's say you have your boiling water on the stove here. We have the water right here. We have our syringe. We're, as it's, the water is boiling, you're going to suck it up with your plunger into your syringe. So as you can see, you have it like that. And then you're gonna cap it off and we'll go on to the next step. All right, so we're going to get started here. So here we have our laminar flow hood. You can also use your still air box or other means. But we have our clean jar here. Let's say we have this jar, we have it clean, put it in front of our flow hood. We have our syringe of the sterile water that we allowed to cool that we had made earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and get our spore print next. So here is our spore print. You can see it usually comes in like an aluminum, uh, basically fold, folded like this. So that's your spore print you can see. This one's actually got a, quite a bit of spores in it. I mean, there are, there are varying uh, spore concentrations, but this one will be suitable for our size syringe. So I just basically go like this. I'm going to scrape the, the spores. It's probably not gonna get all of them, but do what you can. As you can see, I'm getting it all into my clean jar. You probably wiped it with alcohol or, or put it in some boiling water just to clean it. So don't worry if you don't get everything, but I think that's, uh, that's good for, for me. So let me go ahead and put that off to the side. So now you can see you have a cloudy little mix there. So I'm going to suck that up into my syringe and you can either cap it off or uh, keep it in a needle and move on to the next step. All right, so I got some agar here. This is just a, an agar jar that's got a, a little injection port. That's, that's pretty good for if you're going to start with your first. Uh, part of this phase, which is basically putting spores directly into agar. So I'm go in there. You don't need to put a lot, just enough to get like a little speck of spores in there. There's, the purpose of agar is to be able to isolate the genetics and get some good growth and transfer it to the, your next uh, agar plate. So you can, once this becomes white, you'll transfer it a little wedge into your next agar plate. And people do that about three or four times. So once you do that, you're ready to put that in your liquid culture or put it into your uh, bag or jar or whatever grain spawn medium you have. So that's it for that part. All right, well, thanks for watching. I just wanted to keep it simple this time. And if you have any questions, this is a uh, laminar flow hood and agar that you can check out. I'll put the link below. If you have any other questions, be sure to ask and keep growing those mushrooms.